Hi friends, this is Sarvijan here. Welcome to my networking channel. Hope all are doing good. And today let us discuss about auto summarization. What does auto summary? It will auto summarizes the network to the classful boundaries. So here this in this network, I have connected R1 and R2 both established an EBGB neighbor relationship with each other. And to R1 I have connected PC1 and this R2 I have connected PC2. So this PC2 IP is 20.2 and the gateway is 20.1 and this IP is 10.2. So what happened due to some issues, I'm not able to ping from PC1 to PC2. So due to an auto summarization issue, so we need to just go and troubleshoot. So let us now go to the R1 configuration and let us check the summarization feature. Show run include auto summary. So let us go to the configuration. So what happened, both the router I configured a EBGB neighbor relationship and this is in network 10 dot series. This network and this is 20 dot series. So since I auto summarized in both R1 and R2, what happened? I'm not able to reach from PC1 to PC2. So PC1, the PC2 IP let us ping. So I'm going to discuss why the issue is occurring. C20.2, I'm not able to reach. And also from PC2, I'm not able to reach PC1 IP. Right, we are showing destination unreachable. So we need to go and fix the issue. What might be the issue? So here I configured router BG1 and I have specified all the network command loop back and reverse. See, you are able to see right. I will define the network as 170.10.0 and I define auto summary. So in this scenario, what happened? Either I have to specify the network with the mask command, then I have to specify no auto summary. So in this case, what happened? It will auto summarize the networks into the classful boundaries. Let us see the example. Show IP BGP. So I'm just checking the BGP routing table. You are able to see, right? It is summarizing to the classful boundary. This is a classful boundary. So 170.0.0. And let us see the case in R2. Show run include auto summary. So that's the thing you I'm going to check. So this also you enable the auto summarization feature. Let us go check. So there are two ways we can define since C, since in this architecture, since this both PC1 and PC2 are in a two different subnet, what I have to do, I have to specifically define the network with the corresponding mask for the PC1 to communicate with PC2. So in such scenario, it is always safe to disable the auto summarization feature, right? I hope you understood. So now I'm going to disable the auto summarization feature. I'm going to define the network with the mask. So that is the way we can troubleshoot. Let us go to R1. So let us fix the issue. Go to configuration mode. So router BGP1, right? And I'm going to define the mama mask. No network. So let us remove this network. And I'm going to tell you how to define this. Network 172.16.10.0 followed by the mask. Mask is 24 bit mask. 255.255.0 because the PC1 connected to this corresponding R1 is in range 176.10.2, right? So I have to define the 24 bit mask. So that's the reason I'm defining and just do no auto summary, right? So this is the thing I've done on R1 and let us see on R2. So let us go to R2 and let us fix the issue. So go to the configuration mode, router BGP2. And now I'm going to remove this no network. Remove this network statement. And let us define the network properly. So this one 170.20.0, right? So since both are in the same series, if I'm summarization, right, what happened? So the PC1 sometimes will be unable to communicate with PC2. So to avoid such scenario, in such scenario, we can always disable, save to disable the auto summarization feature. And we have to define properly with the mask 172.16.20.0. And the mask is 255.255.255.0. And let us, yeah, sorry. And the mask is 255.255.0. And let us do here no auto summary, right? So now let us see the difference. And now let us see the BGP routing table. You are able to see, right? It is specifically defining all the networks 10.0 and 20. series. And we are seeing in the BGP routing table. So this is a proper way of advertising the network with the corresponding mask. So we are able to see. Now let us ping from PC1 to PC2. So PC2 IP is 20.2, I am able to, let us see. Yeah, I am able to reach from PC1 to PC2 and let us ping from PC2 to PC1. So previously we see the destination unreachable message. So now we are able to reach mainly because of the auto summarization issues. So why the, that is exactly issue because both lies in the same range 116. So only the third, uh, third thing vary, right? The 10 and 20. So in such scenario, I have to define the network with the proper mask parameter and we have to disable the auto summary feature 
for proper communication so i hope you understand and enjoy this video thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos thanks and have a wonderful day thank you